All right, today we're going to talk about a very special course I'm recording live. This does count for continuing ed, by the way. So you guys will get two hours of CE for those of you who need it. Those of you that don't need it, eh, you're just here for the fun. All right. It's called Helping Your Investor Clients. Let's do it this way. Money Magazine in 2015 made a comment that said 35% of all residential real estate sales were sold to investors. I think that's a very big number. That seems that's a third of all the sales were investors. I don't know. You guys have a better feel for that. Um, I, but whatever number it is, the investors pose a large portion of the investment. So we're going to talk today a little bit about the difference between dealing with a client that is a real estate investor versus a dealing with a client that is what I like to call owner occupied or mom and pop. <laughs> I started out as an investor before I even had my license. I've had my license since 99 and I owned rental properties before that. And this is how I got into it was through property investing. So I've know from both sides of this coin, financing's different, the way you write the purchase agreement can be different, the way you do the home inspection can be different, the way you do seller's disclosures could be different. So when you understand how to do real estate, it's going to be slightly different with an investor. Is it going to be faster or slower? Uh, the answer to that would be yes. <laughs> 